Welcome back to Britain's Got Talent. We've already seen seven sensational performances, and now it's time for number eight. Yes, it is. Next up is an extreme stunt artist who used a sword to slice a pineapple that was balanced on Ant's head. So what's happening tonight? Are you are you in the act tonight? What's happening? Well, no, I've spoken to him, you see, yeah. and he's assured me <laughs> I'm not part of the act. Oh, that's a disappointment. He's getting somebody else involved. Oh, Although I do know he needs um, a lady's ring. Amanda, could I borrow? Could I, uh, could I take it and use it? Which, give it to Aaron. Which one? Uh, this one. This one will do. Is that expensive? Uh, that, yes, that one then. That, that one there. <laughs> there we are. Take that. Thank you very much. Amanda, yeah, you just I take know. that for a sec. Why do I want that? Oh, you'll find out. It's Aaron Crow. <laughs> What's your name? He won't talk to you because he's had to put himself into a neutral zone. It was terrifying and brilliant. of this at home. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Aaron Crawl. <laughs> give, give, give it to
Yeah, I think so. Well, well done. You didn't kill my friend. I'm very <laughs> happy about that. David, what did you make of that? Aaron, I think it's so brave of you to put other people's lives in terrible danger. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was stunning. We've never seen anything like it on Britain's Got Talent. I'm a big fan of the show before I was on it. Never seen anything like it. And if you get through to the final, I would like you to see... I would like to see Simon put in terrible danger. <laughs> Simon, give the public what they want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia. Jack, are you OK? I think so, yeah. Oh, I might need to just nip off in the commercial break. I was break worried about you. just have a little check. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was so, Aaron, kind of I, th I think you're incredible. The, the magic and the mystery of your act and the suspense is fantastic. And I said it to you before, you could be in a movie. I'd love to see you play in a baddie. Women are going to love you. <laughs> Honestly, you're, you're great. Well done. You are. <laughs> Does this mean we're engaged? Because, you know, I'm married. But, um... Actually, my sister's very interested in you, can I just say? <laughs> um, but yes, no, all that aside, you are like international man of mystery. You have this aura and this um, power and this sex appeal, and I really would love to see you in the, in the final. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't talking about you, Simon. <laughs> Aaron, do you never talk? Perfect man. <laughs> Perfect man. Ever. Do you never, ever never talk? talk? No, not. You can not kill the magic. Simon. Okay, okay, I'm just asking. Um, yeah, it, it was good. It was, again, not as good as the first audition. I uh, didn't like the music. Um, and. <laughs> kind of wanted you to go about three or four inches below the target this time. <laughs> I think it would have been a better act, better for the ratings. That's <laughs> <laughs> all we care about. That's all we care about, yeah. yeah. I suppose there's still I mean, being still left to go goes wrong. Oh, um, unbelievable. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, it was good, but not great. OK, thank you, judges. Uh, I know you don't speak. Is this the point where you'd like to say something back, Aaron? No? You're not going to. You're not going to. Good man. He's still keeping that air of mystery. I like uh, sit down, David! <laughs> David, get back in your chair.